As I recall, I, we left off at the end of the transcription process. Now we are moving on to the translation process. The beginning of the translation process begins when the mRNA leaves the nucleus and travels to the ribosomes, which are made up of two parts. There's the top part up here, and there's the bottom part down here. And what the mRNA will do is it'll travel through and go right in between the top and bottom part right here and it travels through as the ribosomes or the R the R RNA will read it will read the codes as threes these threes are called codons so find it clearly these three all these three are called codons and that's how the m the rrna will read the the specific codes um so as it's reading the trnas these are the trnas they have the anti codons that will that have specific codons to bond with they'll keep coming until they find the perfect match so like for here example this one oops so so right here this one is matches perfectly with this one because it has a c to g and a c to g again and an a to u and these purines and pyridines are happy so that's what each individual tRNA is trying to accomplish when coming in and out of the cell okay and so basically once it's bonded it will then make an amino acid no. an amino acid oops and it will be right on top of here so once the amino acid forms it will leave it will de it will t oh, it will detach and this the amino we will be left with just an amino acid so we won't need this t rna anymore so it goes back to uh, where it was before and we will be left once this um sequence keeps occurring uh, occurring many more amino acids will start to form like that yeah and these amino acids will then be made into a protein so these amino acids will form a bond as we learned last semester amino acids are joined by a carboxyl group and a high uh, amino group now remember carboxyl is COOH COOH and an amino group is NH2 oops can't really read that but these will be formed by a amino group and a carboxyl group and these bonds are called peptide bonds and now once the sequence keeps occurring and there's many more amino acids these amino acids will form a polypeptide chain and once we may have a polypeptide chain we can now make a protein essential for us and that is translation. Thank you.